Sir. Hi. Right. Hi. Good to see you. Good to see you. My name is John Barrett, editor of Electronic Sourcing Magazine. Yes. Fantastic to uh, be here on the stand today. Thank you. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, uh, for the past nine years, I've been a host of Mythbusters on the Discovery Channel. Yep. And uh, beyond that, I'm an electrical engineer. Okay, cool. And beyond that, I have been a customer of Mauser's for over 20 years. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay. You're the face of a new campaign here. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that empowerment campaign. That, uh, I think front. what this is all about is reaching out to the engineers. Mm -hmm. And, you know, in my particular fan base, it's a lot of younger people. Yep. And so, you know, engineers just coming out of school. Mm -hmm. But it's all about making engineering fun yep. and giving them the tools that they need to create the new designs. Right. I'm sensing amongst our readership um, a kind of sea change in the industry. Yeah. Um, peer to peer lending for research, yes. development platforms, um, design communities, yeah. open source hardware, open source software. Yes. I see it having a massive impact from next year on. Mails is obviously in a great position, um, yeah. funding new technology through. Right. Tell me what your opinion of how this industry is going to look over the next five, ten, or even further years. You know, the interesting thing about where we are right now is that it's a maker culture. Yep. And people are very into doing it themselves. Whereas, you know, I think in the old days, uh, they would rely on, on big companies to do things. But now, it's a movement where mm -hmm. you have so many open source tools available and it's not just the realm of of people in large corporations it's opened it up to people at home that want to experiment on their own smaller companies um, startups yep. so i think that the positioning of mouser as a distributor is great because they're in the position to be able to give these people what they need, design tools, um, embedded systems, development boards, parts. Yep. And you know it's and it's very exciting yep. because as personally as a maker and personally as someone who was a hobbyist and became you know a full-fledged engineer, yep. I love to be able to exist in this time yep. in where everybody can now be interested in engineering. It's you know, it's a go. fun thing. Yeah, yeah. It's a fun thing, and people are just now discovering it. Yes, on a global phenomenon. Oh Gotta yeah. Got to be. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And in terms of the the, the, the sort of um, industry sectors this is going to apply to, you know, you've got the artisan engineers at one end. Um, in their industrial units making one or two of these and you've yeah. got the contract manufacturers at the other end and we're looking at this middle ground lots of different sectors where do you think where do you think the next big um, maker inspired innovations are going to be is it medical is it Ooh. energy is it uh, um, uh, uh, automotive uh, yeah where, where, where's it going to be you know there are some I think that there are some sectors that are very accessible mm -hmm. to an open source cult, uh, culture. Mm -hmm. There are certain ones that are maybe outside of the yeah. realm of that. Like automotive, I would say, is, yeah. is sort of on the edge of being right outside of what's accessible to yeah. someone working you know, in, a, in a smaller group. Mm -hmm. But it's exciting because I think a lot of this open source culture is driven by microcontrollers, yes, and that opens it up to a lot of fields. Yeah, and, and it's tough to say for medical, for automotive. Those are still very much, I think, the realm of larger corporations yep. with more resources. Yep. But that doesn't mean that there are, are other sectors, smaller sectors, where yep. someone can work on a really cool consumer mm -hmm. product and and have it come out. Yep. Well, we're seeing. Um, people emerging from education and academia now 
not just expecting to go and find a job, but actually emerging as entrepreneurs and innovators oh, yes. and, 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 and maker, professional makers, literally from day one. Are you seeing that? Well, you know, I lived in the Bay Area for 20 years, and the interesting thing about the Bay Area is that that was kind of part of the course. Yep. You'd have people coming out of colleges there, um, Stanford, you know, and, yep. and they were already yep. looking to do startups on the internet, yep. uh, hardware startups, things like that. I mean, that was just like, I've got a great idea. Yep. I'm going to do it. Go do it. And yeah. now I'm starting to see that that's filtering out filtering into through. other areas. Yeah, yeah. So. yeah we're, we're seeing that um, in Europe, um, that sort of um, shared design process from an early stage. We're yeah. seeing people not even getting out of university to start, but starting while they're there. Yeah. Spinning that department out, developing new technology and building new businesses from there. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think it's... My feeling, I don't know, don't know whether you agree, but this is the beginning of something really special, something exciting and something that everybody can have a go at. Is that you, you, your Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, It's, I think that time is coming. Yeah. That time is coming. Well, <laughs> actually, I guess it's already here, it's isn't here. it? Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm saying 2015. It's going to be a, we'll see a sea change. In, when, yeah. let me, 20 years ago, mm -hmm. when I was just getting out of college, I subscribe to um, Nuts and Bolts, Circuit Seller Inc. You know, these kind of uh, really, really specific hobbyist magazines. Yep. And in the group that I was in, we would make things, mm -hmm. we would have ideas, you'd order a development board, you'd order a microcontroller, you'd program it yourself. That was a very small subset. Mm -hmm. Now, 20 years later, Yep. You're saying it's popular. Yep. There's a huge community out there. Yep. And not only that, in those days, you information was hard to come by. Like, I would subscribe to the magazines because yep. that's where I would get an influx of information. Yep. These days, kids have it easy. Yes. There's the internet. Type it in. You, you just type it, type in, it in into in. a search engine yep. and all of this support yes. comes up. Back in 20 years ago, yeah, there was a community. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't interconnected. No. These days you're seeing the communities are much, much larger. The information flows yes. freely, and it's a very exciting time. So this is um, internet connectivity, big data, mm -hmm. the ability to pull all that together. Yeah. Um, probably as a, as a closing remark or closing question, obviously um, we're talking about uh, empowering in a, uh, innovation together. Yes. Um, you're going to be spending, I guess, quite a bit of time supporting that uh, supporting that concept, that, that campaign. When you're not doing that, what are you going to be designing? <laughs> I need to know what your next product is. I've always got I've always got ideas for different projects. I'm right. the kind of guy that I've probably got <laughs> I don't know 15 or 20 projects, 20 projects. Okay. lined up. Yep. I've got you know a, a 650 pound six-legged walking robot. Yeah, I saw, the, I saw the picture, that's cool. It is, it is weighing on my mind that I haven't <laughs> finished that. So I've got that. Yep. I've got a few other designs for, um, what? Yeah, yeah. A few other designs for something. Okay, so. okay. Well, as a robot man, I'm gonna keep an eye on, uh, on she, does, does she have a name? Uh, <laughs> I was calling it the spider. I know the spiders spider. have eight legs, but okay. it was a catchy name. Yeah, yeah. It's basically a giant walking table that I right. can ride. Yes, <laughs> so I like maybe, it. Maybe, maybe uh, you know, <laughs> maybe next uh, two years from now at yeah. Electronica, you'll Bring see me back. riding it around we can ride the it. mouse booth. Yeah, Fantastic. I'll give you a ride. Yeah, ride me around the mouse. All right. Fantastic. <laughs> well, thanks Excellent. a lot. Thanks, Good to Wonderful. meet you.